Hello everyone. In this lecture, I'll show you how to do horizontal analysis and vertical analysis of income statement and balance sheet in Excel. For this, you have to get the data of income statement and balance sheet of your company from the company's annual report. Then you have to organize your data in your Excel file. Let's do the horizontal analysis of income statement. The equal sign. Select the data of 2020 minus select the data of 2019. Press enter. Then drag this cell. Find out the percentage again. Equal sign first bracket 2020 minus your phase year, which is 2019. Close the bracket divided by your phase year. 2019 is equal then write this one so from here we can say that sales increased by 11.35 percent during 2020 and net income increased by 335.70 percent let's do the horizontal analysis of balance sheet once again equal sign 2020 minus 2019. Press enter. Then drag this one. There is nothing here, so we'll delete this one. So for the percent, click again. Press equal sign. Pass bracket 2020 minus your base year 2019. Close the bracket. Divided by 2019. Press enter. Then drag this. There's nothing here. So delete this one. So from here we can see that most of the balance sheet and income balance sheet items during 2020 decreased. So for example, cash decreased by. 47.19 percent during 2020 and total asset decreased by 17.92 percent during 2020 total common equity decreased by 71.80 percent during 2020 and total liabilities and equity decreased by 17.92 percent now we'll do the vertical analysis of income estate once again, press equal sign, then select the cost of goods sold divided by sales. So, for the vertical analysis of income statement, we know that we need to fix the sales. So, sales is in P3 cell. So, we need to fix this cell. Fix a cell, we need to put $2 sign. Dollar sign over here and dollar sign over here. Then press enter. Then select drag this one. So, so if you do not fix the cell, your result will be wrong. So let me show you. So once again, equal sign cost of goods sold divided by sales. Press this one. This row, this cell will show you accurate result, but if you do not fix the cell of cells, the result will be wrong. Say, for example, it shows that uh, it's a 150%. So if you click, double click on this, you see that uh, it is divided by. So Net income divided by taxes. So and the result is 150%, which is completely wrong. So this is also true for others items as well. So this is why we need to fix the cell. Let me delete this this one first. So once again, press the equal sign, cost of goods sold divided by sales. 
we need to fix the cell which is cells with two dollar sign one before this one one after this one then press enter now drag this one so now you can see that net income is only 14.10 percent of cells double click on this one see that cells net income which is the blue color divided by cells which is red press one this one now we can do it for 2019 sorry equal sign cost of goods sold divided by cells once again we need to fix this cell with two dollar sign then press enter now drag this one so that's the particle analysis of income statement we can see that cost of goods sold was 82.44% in 2019 and which is 63.57% in 2020 if you look at the net income we can see that net income was 3.60% in 2019 and net income is 14.10% in 2020 now let's do the vertical analysis of balance sheet once again over here we have to point out the uh, what percentage of cash of total assets and over here we have to find out what percentage of accounts payable for example of total liabilities and equity so we have to fix total assets and total liabilities and equity let's do it first equal sign select cash divided by total liabilities and equity once again we need to fix this cell two dollar sign then press enter then select the other rows so sorry drag this one need to delete this one so there's nothing here so similarly you can do it for 2019 again equal sign select the cash divided by total assets to fix the cell with two dollar sign press enter then write this one for total liabilities and equity once again equal sign select this one which is accounts payable divided by total liabilities and equity again to fix this cell with two dollar sign press enter and write this one so from here we can say that total current asset total current asset was 76.21 percent of total assets in 2019 which is 67.44 percent in 2020 from the liabilities and equity side you can see that total common equity was 56.22 percent of total liabilities and equity in 2019 which is only 19.32 percent in 2020 Thank you. That's all about this lecture.